Hi guys, in today's video, we're going to be sharing seven medicinal plants that are used in traditional medicine in some cultures to treat toothaches. Keep watching. Okay guys, so this is one of the plants that we're going to be looking at today. In Jamaica, it is commonly referred to as broomweed and the scientific name for it is Ceda acuta. It is a plant that grows in tropical regions around the world and in traditional medicine, the plant is used to treat a myriad of health issues in different cultures, including toothaches. Now, it is said that in order to treat toothaches, the root of the plant is chewed. This is the second plant that we're going to be looking at today. And if you're one of our regular viewers, then you should be familiar with this plant by now because I've done other videos on this plant in the past but for those of you who are not familiar with this plant it is commonly referred to as periwinkle in Jamaica and scientifically it is known as Catharanthus roseus it um, is a plant that grows in tropical regions around the world and it is used to treat many maladies in traditional medicine including toothaches and it is said that this is usually done by boiling the leaves of the plant in water and then using this water as a mouthwash. So guys, the next plant that we're going to be looking at is this tree. In Jamaica, we commonly refer to it as Prickella. However, there are some persons who refer to it as Prickly Ash. Scientifically, it is known as Xanthoxylum martinicens, and it is found in tropical countries around the world. This is a plant that is used in traditional medicine to treat a number of health issues and one of its uses is to help bring fast relief from toothaches. This is usually done by removing a piece of the bark from the tree and then um, persons chew on it for a little while and then they spit it out so the juice isn't ingested. And um, how this works guys is that it dulls the pain locally the fourth plant that we're going to be looking at is this tree and for those of you who do not know this is a nutmeg tree nutmeg is used in traditional medicine to treat different ailments one of which is toothaches and the part of the tree that is used to treat toothaches is um, the seed that is located inside of this fruit. This is usually done by adding a teaspoon of nutmeg powder to some warm water and this is used as a mouthwash or a bit of nutmeg powder is placed on the tooth that is aching. This is the fifth plant that we're going to be looking at guys and if you're not familiar with this plant it is commonly referred to as Shema Maka in Jamaica but it has other common names and scientifically it is known as Mimosa Pudica. In traditional medicine it is used to treat numerous maladies and one of its uses is to treat toothaches. This is usually done by making a decoction of the root 
and just using it as a mouthwash. And for toothaches that are caused from a caries tooth, it is said that the paste of the root is fried in ghee and applied on the caries tooth. And if you don't know what ghee is, it's a type of um, liquid butter that people make, especially people from India. The mango tree is the sixth plant that we're going to be looking at, guys. I believe that most of you should be familiar with this tree. Apart from the medicinal value of its fruits, other parts of the tree have medicinal value and um, have been used in traditional medicine to treat different health issues, including toothaches. Now, to treat toothaches, the bark of the tree is boiled in water, then it is cooled to about the temperature of lukewarm water and then it is used as a mouthwash. This is the final plant that we're going to be looking at guys. It is commonly referred to as Dopigon in Jamaica. Some persons also refer to it as Doppy Gunshot and scientifically it is known as Rilla tuberosa. In traditional medicine it is used to treat different maladies including toothaches and in order to treat toothaches an extract is made from the stem of the plant and it is used for gargling. Now, in the past, I made videos about all of these plants. So if you'd like to learn more about how they are used to treat other kinds of maladies, then please click on the links in the description below. <laughs>